Medica on the border between Poland and Ukraine. Every day, hundreds continue to arrive here, mainly women, children and elderly people. These refugees have two choices. Either go to a warehouse transformed into an emergency shelter, here we're not allowed to film, or they can continue on to Chemichel, the neighboring town, from where they can leave for other destinations. Since the beginning of the Russian aggression against Ukraine, up to 50,000 people have been arriving here every day. A lot of refugees here have a family, friends in the other part of Poland, other part of Europe, and they know when they want to go. So after one or two days, they are, they are organized a transport to family or others. Or if they have a place where they want, Przemysl uh, with other organizers. Further north, Budomiesz is a quieter border crossing. Here, each refugee is registered by the International Organization for Migration, and the reception system is financed by the Polish authorities. The Polish government is funding such places and covers their everyday costs, as well as the running of reception and emergency centers. Communities receive financial support for all that, but of course, they're also supported by Polish and European cities. And we use this support to fix meals and prepare care packages for further treatment. Travel. Poland has provided a huge humanitarian effort over the past three weeks. Faced with uh, this emergency, the country keeps on helping those crossing the border. But for how much longer? Also, the government has released 1.6 billion euros uh, to uh, respond to this exceptional situation. But many questions uh, persist over what will happen in the weeks, in the months to come. President Zelensky 